All right, so I gotta ask, are you the type of person that has fallen into the habit of saying yes to all the things and then you find yourself rushing at the very end in order to get it all done? Or are you the type of person that is kind of finding yourself kind of full of resentment because of the fact that you've said yes to a lot of things and now you're feeling overloaded and overwhelmed? Well, if you said yes to one or maybe both of those questions, then I want you to know that this video is for you because we're going to be talking about overcommitment as a manager. You know, we're going to talk about a couple of tips to help you pattern disrupt that default of always saying yes, because here's the truth. The truth is that as a manager, the expectation is not that you say yes to all the things. The expectation is that you critically think about what you are saying yes to. That is the expectation. So I want to talk about how we can make sure you are critically thinking about what you are saying yes to so that we can move you away from saying yes to all the things. So if that sounds like something that is interesting for you to learn more about, then definitely tap on that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Hey there friend, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new around here, well, my name is Mac and I'm a leadership coach, but I actually work specifically with first time team managers and helping them to become effective leaders. So let's just get right into this video as it relates to over committing and saying yes to all the things. So like I mentioned on the onset of this video, the expectation is not that you say yes to all the things. The expectation is always that you critically think about what you're saying yes to. So seeing as though we're talking about critically thinking, let's talk about what is at the root of you saying yes to all the things. Because if you know me, you know me, I like to, before I get into the tips of anything, I always like to raise your awareness on where things are stemming from. So let's talk about that. Where do you think this like default response of yes is coming from? Is it because you feel as though you always have to say yes to all the things? Do you say yes because you are underestimating how long it's going to take you to complete a task? Is it because you want to prove to those around you that you can get it all done? Is it because you want to make others happy and so you want to be the person that comes through for them every single time? I really want you to think about what your reason is for saying yes all the time. I know for me, for example, I'm the type of person that feels like I have to say yes because I don't want to let you down. You know, as a recovering people pleaser, I just want to be there for other people, right? I want to be the person that someone can rely on. I want to be the person that can help you get through whatever it is that you're going through. And honestly, I've learned the hard way that I am actually not the energizer bunny. In fact, I run out of battery life and need to recharge. <laughs> and so because of having learned that honestly the hard way, I now recognize that I have to really consider my energy levels before I'm actually committing to something. And so for you, I really want you to think about what's causing you to always say yes to all the things, because I'm sure that saying yes to all the things is having a negative impact on you in some way. And you do really need to consider that before you say yes to things. You know, one of the things that we don't often think about is that when we say yes to something, we are saying no to other things. You know, I'll never forget back in corporate, we would go to these quarterly offsites uh, where we would strategize as a, a leadership team around the problems to be solved within the organization. So we would do this exercise where we would throw up on butcher paper, just like all the problems within our various departments or just within the company itself. And then we would decide what we would prioritize. And inevitably, every single quarter, y'all, every single quarter, we would have far too much up there on the butcher paper. And the facilitator of our offsites would literally say, y'all, this is unrealistic. You have far too many things up here. Make your yes count. And he would walk around as we were dwindling things down and say, make your yes count, make your yes count, make your yes count. Just reminding us that our yes is costly. And so, I think that we don't necessarily as managers recognize just how valuable our yes is because we're the multipliers. So that means when we're saying yes to a lot of things, now that means that we have a department that is spread too thin trying to do a whole lot of things and not doing it well because it's not possible. It's just not possible to do a lot of things well. What is possible is focusing on a, a few core things and doing that really well, but it's, it's just not possible to do a lot.
And so you have to recognize just how valuable your yes is and make it count. Now I will say this, I think part of the reason why we don't necessarily value our yes is because we do not have clarity on what is most important. I've said it before on this channel and I'm gonna say it again, clarity is power. When you have clarity around what your focus should be and what the things are that you should prioritize, then it makes it so much easier to say no to everything else. And so let's talk about how you can get that clarity. So I would say that the only person that can give you clarity in terms of what you should be focused on within your department is your direct manager. So that requires you going to your direct manager and asking them for the clarity that you need so that you know what to prioritize, so that you know what you can say yes to, and most importantly, what you should be saying no to. So you can just simply go up to your manager and say, hey, Isabel, you know, I'm really trying to prioritize what our focus should be as a department this quarter. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we should be focused on X, Y, Z. Are you aligned with that? Now, one of two things is going to happen. They're going to say, yeah, I'm aligned with that. Good job. Or they're going to say, mm, I don't know. I can see why you think you should be going down this road, but I actually think you should be focused on A, B, C, right? So they'll give you an answer on one or the other. And then you will know what you can prioritize, what you can say yes to, and what you can say no to. But it actually starts with them giving you that clarity. Lastly, I want you to craft and put in your back pocket kind of like a sentence or two um, that will help you to respond in the moment when you're being asked to do something and you're not fully sure if you should say yes or not. Because what I found, I don't know about you, but what I found for me is that sometimes I default to saying yes because I don't know how to say no, right? And so because of that, I have a back pocket response. Now within the Accelerator program, I give my students a myriad of scripts of things that they can say in difficult situations. And this is one of them. And so I want to share with you one of the mini scripts that I have for them when they are put in a position where they feel like they have to say no, how they can like just buy themselves a little bit more time so that they can strategically um, really think about whether or not they can say if they should say yes or whether or not they should say no. So here's the script. I'd love to be able to commit to XYZ. Let me check to see if there are things that I can deprioritize to make room for this. Let me get back to you with an answer by Thursday. This type of response, y'all, buys you just enough time so that you can critically think about whether or not you should say yes or say no to this thing before you actually commit to it. I guarantee you that if you put that in your back pocket and use it often enough, you'll find that you will stop saying yes to all the things and stop finding that you are over committing yourself to a lot of things. So I hope you find that little mini script helpful to you. Of course, like rejig it and make it so that it sounds like you, but get the gist and make sure that you're responding in kind before you just like default to saying yes. All right, so that is pretty much it for my tips. I hope that you found this video enjoyable and helpful to you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe so that you do not miss any other content that I share on this platform every single week. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you in the next video.